Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I have already done my eyebrows and we're going straight in with the eyes today. So we're going to be using our Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer as an eyeshadow base. I just love this concealer as it is such a full coverage concealer and it cover covers, <laughs> covers all the veins that I have on my eyelids. So I'm just blending that out with any old concealer brush. To create this eye look today, we are using the Morphe 35O palette, which is definitely one of my favorite palettes that I have by far. So we're just using this light white shade to set that concealer down in place. And the first color that we'll be using for our crease today is this warm orange shade, just for our transition color, so all the colors blend nicely together. I did actually go in with this color like two or three times just to build up the intensity of the color. So just keep repeating this step until you get the color that you desire. And then next shade we are using is just a deeper reddish brownie color. And we're going to be using a more dense eyeshadow brush um, just to pack this onto the outer and inner corner. So we are creating an A. Halo. <laughs> we are creating a halo eye as you can see so I'm firstly just placing the color down where I want it and then I'm going back in with the same brush that we used for the first crease shade just to blend it all out and like the previous shade I did go back in a few times just to build up the intensity because the color kind of gets blended away while you're blending those colors out Another easy thing about halo eyes is you don't need to be too precise when placing the color down as you are putting a color in the center of the lid so you won't exactly see if it's a bit messy. As you can see mine isn't exactly the neatest as it could be but yeah like I said you don't have to be too fussy. Then for the lid shade we are using this orangey copper shimmery shade in the palette. I am spraying my br brush with some MAC Fix Plus just to create a very intense shimmer shade on the lid. So I'm just packing this on. Again, not being too neat as long as it covers that entire gap that we left on our lid. And then you see me grabbing a blending brush in just a sec to blend out the edges so there are no harsh lines, as you know. And then I wasn't exactly happy with that lid shade, so I didn't show it because I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna work. But I did actually grab a lighter, more peachy kind of color, I guess you could call it. Um, and then just packed that over the top to lighten that um, middle color up a bit. And I did like it a lot better. Then for mascara, I'm using my trusty old Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Coating my upper lashes and prepping them for false lashes. While that mascara is drying, I am grabbing a clean face wipe and just cleaning up under our eye area from all the fallout that we had and just cleaning up my face, getting ready for our base. For lashes, I am using my favorite lashes at the moment, which are Bespoke Lashes in the style Asia. These are by far the most stunning lashes you'll ever get your hands on. Now, I'm not quite sure what happened to the footage of me applying my foundation, but it just disappeared on me. Not a happy chappy, but all I used was my NARS Sheer Glow in the shade Stromboli as per usual. Then to conceal under my eyes and the rest of my face, as you can see, going back in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Then to blend that out, I'm just using my favorite sponge, which is the Real Technique sponge, and just blending that out.
To bake, I am using this Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Translucent Powder. I was actually quite impressed with this. I only bought this that morning because I am out of my trusty old Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder. If anyone knows where I can get my hands on that, please let me know. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my favorite pressed powder, which is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. I think I use the shade, I think it's like darkest brown or medium tan or one of those colors, but I'm just setting the rest of my face and then I am brushing away that baking powder. With this powder, just make sure you brush it all the way really well, otherwise you are kind of left with a bit of a white cast. So I did have to get in there pretty good to dust away that powder but I did like how it turned out in the end. Now to contour I'm using my Benefit Hula Bronzer and because this is a festival look we can use quite a heavy hand and still get away with it and that looks pretty intense at the moment but trust me it all looks good in the end. So I'm just using the brush that it came with. I quite like this brush to apply it. I don't know. I just think it does the job quite well and then you'll see me going in and contouring my nose I don't know why I don't usually do this but hey it's a festival look you can pretty much get away with whatever you want Now to bronze up my face, I'm using my favourite bronzer which is the MAC Give Me Sun. So again, going in pretty heavy handed because hey, again, it's a festival look but it all blends out, I promise. So I'm just using my Real Techniques, I think this is a powder brush, I'm not quite sure, I'll leave it listed down below. But yeah, I'm just going in and warming up the outer perimeter of my face. Okay now, what is a festival look without using the trusty old Mary Luminizer highlighter by The Balm? So I am literally drowning my face in this stuff, so I'm putting it on my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, literally everywhere. Putting it everywhere, I may as well just dip my face in the pan. And just because that highlighter wasn't enough, I am going in with this Astralis Liquid Illuminating Drops in the shade Gold. Wasn't quite sure how I felt about this at the start, but I ended up loving it in the end and I'm so glad I did it. But I'm just using my ring finger and just patting that on the highest points of my cheekbones. To finish off the eyes, I'm going back in with the shades we used first in the crease. So starting off with this light orange shade, just buffing this quite messily under the eyes. I do want to make it quite smoky so I don't really place it too neat. Then going back in with that darker brownie orangey shade, using a smaller brush to make this a bit more precise and just popping that um, on the lower lash line as well. And then to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I did dip my brush into Mary Lou just to highlight the inner corner using this pencil brush and then doing the same with my brow bone. To finish off this look, I'm going in with the new Australis Velour Lips Metallic Lip Cream in the shade V Nice. V Nice however it's pronounced but this probably made the whole look come together so I popped this on my lips first and then I decided to dip my finger into Mary Luminizer and just pat that over the center of my lips as you'll see in a sec but I just thought that really pulled it together by making it extra metallic-y now what kind of festival look would it be without sticking jewels somewhere on your face. So I just picked these little stickers up from Kmart. They were like $3 and I thought it really pulled the whole look together. Now for the hair, I did jump off camera quickly and curl it 
and I'm popping my favorite extensions of all time by Eden hair extensions so these are the 220 gram extensions in the shade ash blonde so I'm just popping like five pieces I think I put in so I'm just parting my hair as you can see clipping each piece in nice and securely so I'm starting off with a four piece then I put a three piece in and then now here I'm putting a, another four piece just because it is the widest part of my head. So I'm just clipping that in and then I popped two two clip pieces either side of my middle part. I do have a discount code for you guys if you do wish to grab yourself a set of extensions. So if you just use the code Natalie at the checkout, I'll leave it listed on the screen. Just pop that in and you'll get a cheeky little discount. So now that I've popped those in, I'm just grabbing a brush and brushing all those out so they're more like waves rather than curls. And then I just have a bit of a fiddle with my fingers and place it exactly where I want it. Now to add some accessories, I've got this coin necklace that I thought was really festival-y along with this brown choker. It's like a cord type of material and I just popped that on. I thought they looked really cool together. Now for some sunglasses. What's a festival without some round sunglasses? And to finish it off, I've just got this cute little hat. And that completes this look guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did. Leave any comments below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!